In this video, I'm going to show you the absolute best recording settings for the Open Broadcaster Software Studio, so you can get 1080p 60fps on your videos. So without further ado, let's jump right into it. What's going on peeps? Welcome back once again to another video. And today I'm going to be showing you the best settings for the Open Broadcaster software so you can get uh, 1080p 60fps on your videos, basically a very good quality without any lag. And now I did a video in the past where I showed you how to record your gameplay and desktop for a low-end PC, and you can check that video out if you want to down below in the description. But in this video though, I'm going to be showing you the best, the absolute best settings for OBS Studio so you can get 1080p 60fps on your videos for your gameplays or your desktop captures. So jumping right into this, obviously you need OBS Studio to conduct this. And if you don't have it already, I've left a link down below in the description to obsproject.com. Just click on that link and you'll be navigated to this site. And then just click on download OBS Studio if you don't have it already. And then, then select your version. So if you have Windows 7, 8, uh, or 10, click on that one. Or if you have a Mac, select this one. Or if you have Linux, go ahead and select that one. But I have Windows 10, so I'm gonna select this one. So this is gonna open up right here, an exe file, and I'm gonna cancel this one because I already have OBS Studio. But for you, just open up, uh, complete this setup, it's very easy, and then just install OBS Studio and open it up and it will look like this. So once you've opened up OBS Studio, it will look like this. Now you wanna go to settings immediately right here, and you're gonna be at general, so quickly pick your language, English for me. Uh, the theme, if you want OBS to be dark, then select dark right here, and uh, we're gonna go with white this time. And then you want to go to output. Now, I'm not going to go to stream, you know, I just skipped that part because this is not a video on how to stream. I made that video in the past, I'll leave a link to that in the description as well. But we're going to go to output because we're talking about the recording. So go to output right here, and you're going to go to streaming first. And the audio track you want to add to 1, and the encoder to 264, and the rate control to CBR, and the bit rate to 3500. Now you can adjust this um, if your computer can't cope with that much. If it's pretty weak, then go with 2500. If it's very bad, then go with 1500. It all depends on your PC. Now the rest, just add it uh, same as me, so the keyframe to 2, the CPA usage preset to very fast, and the profile to main, and the rest doesn't, you know, it doesn't matter at all. So go to recording right here, click on the type and add that to standard and select you know pick your recording path where you want your videos to appear once you've clicked on stop recording so mine is in my videos my videos folder and the recording format do you want your video to be in you know uh, mp4 uh, movie you know which format do you want I'm, I always go with F, uh, FLV and um, the audio track to one and the rest doesn't matter at all. So once you're done with the recording part, you want to go to audio right here and just add this to 160 on every single track. Now it will be that automatically, but if you don't have it, just change it to 160. And after you're done with this uh, output part, you want to go to the audio section. So once you're here, you want to add the sample rate to um, this 48 hertz something and uh, the channels you want to add to stereo obviously and the desktop audio device now these you know you're probably wondering why is there two desktop audio devices because this you know just strengthens the audio of your desktop but i always use just two um desktop audio device here just what this one and my microphone and these don't matter at all if you want to enable push to talk this you know enable it right there but I won't push the talk there, sorry. Uh, but I normally don't do that because it's very annoying. You some, Sometimes you forget, but if you want that, just go with that. It doesn't matter, it's your video. So now that we're done with audio, we wanna go to video right here. And the base canvas, you wanna add to, to uh, 1920 by 1080. And the output scale resolution to 1920 by 1080 as well. And the downscale filter, you wanna add to this one. The sharpened, uh, scaling 16 samples and this is very important the common fps values you want to add that to 60 basically you want 60 fps right uh but if your computer isn't that good you can also go with 30 okay trust me i've done it before and it works so if your computer can't cope with that much then go with 30 fps but 
normally it's 60 uh, if your computer is very strong. So we're gonna go with that. Now that we're done with that, we wanna go to hotkeys right here. Now these are, they, they're not that uh, important if you want to add a hotkey for, you know, start recording. If I wanna add like zero, if I click on zero now, I will start recording. But I normally don't do that because um, I can easily click on start recording right here. So we're gonna skip this part, but if you want to change it, just go ahead and do that. So after you're done with that, go to advanced. Now this is very important right here. You wanna add the process priority to uh, normal. Now if your computer isn't that good, once again, uh, just go with high. But if your computer is you know strong, it can cope with a lot, just go with normal. And the render, you wanna add to Direct3D11. And that's basically it guys. Uh, the rest doesn't matter that much. But you can change it to mine if you want to. And then you're done, actually. You wanna click on Apply right here, and then click on OK. And now when you record, you will have 1080p 60fps. So just for the sake of the video, I'm gonna show you how to record your screen if you don't know how to do it already. So go down here to Sources, right click, hover over Add, and then go to um, Display Capture right here. And when you click on OK, it will record your screen. So there you have it guys, the absolute best settings for the OBS Studio. When you record, you will have 1080p 60fps, and when you put the footage in your uh, editing software, it will automatically uh, De detect it as a uh, as a 60 fps quality video and you won't have to adjust it at all so thanks for watching don't forget to subscribe and like the video and comment down below if there were any issues or errors when you were conducting this tutorial and apart from that i will see you in the next one